Hey guys, welcome to another series in my on my channel about Maya. And so today we're going to talk about bullions and how we can get this nice shape in there. And uh, we won't be going into basically cleaning up the geometry today. Uh, we can later talk about quad. I think it's quadrilinolate, quadrangulate. Uh, we'll talk about that on another time. But today we're just going to talk about bullions. So bullions can do some really cool things. You can either connect them, delete them intersect them, you know, have one punch a hole in the other, basically. Pretty cool stuff, actually. So if we have two objects, you know, if we want to get the, the empty space of the guitar, um, we can do that. Now, uh, so if you have your first image, and then the profile image of the one that's going to punch a hole in this one, um, we can do that. So you can just create one and then fit it over the image plane, you know, via like orthographic view so we're gonna do that now okay so you can find boolean up here in mesh booleans and there's three different types we have union and union difference and intersection so union and you can find the tool tip down here if you look down there so you see union fuse two objects together so we can put these two objects together next difference so down on the bottom left hand corner you can see indents one object with the shape of another at the point of their intersection. So maybe we can use that one. And lastly we we see uh, keep only the intersection point of two objects. That means basically that when the point where both objects cross into each other it's going to cut that object right down in there. Um, now the selection order will matter a lot on this. So let's see if we get the right one. Sometimes you have to kind of play with it. And so select the first object, select the next object, go to mesh, boolean, and let's see if, if union will help us. So it did make a nice profile in there. And it, you know, um, it did a pretty good job actually. Now the only problem is um, we're left with geometry that is highly <laughs> there must be like eight faces in this you know and uh, that could be a problem over the years bullions have become more stable um, but you know after you, you you know you do a bullion sometimes the effects are permanent it could even crash your project um, and or even just leave you with changes you cannot undo basically so be careful before doing this um, always save your project project before you do this and uh, be careful after doing the bullion make sure you know what you're doing when you delete history afterwards um, sometimes after making a lot of such things as extrusions or bullions or you know or you know doing a planer um, it can add a lot of history on your object and therefore um, do a lot of memory consumption so it'll slow down Maya as you get to like high detailed images sorry high detailed models so if you delete history you may not ever be able to go back such as control Z um, or, you know undoing a change so be careful when doing that um, so we have our object here it looks like it pretty much worked but you know we have a cap here now if you ever want to I mean it depends on what type of guitar it is um, some have no wall here you can get rid of that easily if we do I'm sorry if we use this tool here I think we talked about that before the paint selection tool and there we go had to reset the tool okay so you can scale down You hold down B and then kind of scrub with your mouse by moving it left to right. Um, you can start scaling down the basically the control area, the affected area, and you just simply paint it. Paint your selection. And so every section that you see that's being essentially painted or, or highlighted, it's selecting that face and it's kind of an unsure way that we're not going to affect the area in the back okay so that's the beauty part of it now if we want to just get rid of this at this point hit delete and 
there you go. Now, so like I said before, it depends on what type of guitar it is. Evidently, we have a paper guitar. Um, so always make sure you know what you're doing before you delete your geometry. Um, in this case, I am going to leave a little bit of a wall inside, but not as deep as this one. So I'm going to select that that cap right there, bring it up a little bit more closer. I am not an expert at guitars, but you know you do want to leave, I think, something like some kind of edge wall in there because you know this is a wooden guitar. We don't want to make it out of paper. Okay, so we deleted that after we sized it up and there you go we have a hole in there now you're gonna have to clean up the geometry in this location here um, you can use quadrilinity if you really want to sorry quadrangulate um, that might work um, we'll speak of that on another tutorial um, you can basically perform surgery and, and restructure it if you need to there are many ways to do this um, but you always want to try to you know keep some stability so a your project doesn't crash or b um, you might have texture placement issues later on so um, mine has become more st stable over the years but it's just kind of good practice you know so all right so we'll go into all that in another tutorial video thanks so much and like comment and subscribe